Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, a number of weather parameters have to come together in order to form strong or sometimes severe thunderstorms. A lot of times these parameters have to coincide at the same time. So if one or two are missing, it may make the difference between just a generic thunderstorm and a damaging severe thunderstorm. That's sort of the dilemma that we have coming up for late tomorrow afternoon. So stay tuned. But the best chance for strong to severe thunder will be the areas in red in this enhanced section uh, points north and west of Providence in this general zone late afternoon and early evening. Uh, the chances are slight in the areas in yellow uh, south and east of Providence. So slight chance here, higher chance points north and west. More than likely, a severe thunderstorm watch is going to be issued for a good portion of our area late tomorrow afternoon. Now, if we end up with extra sunshine, that's actually not good because it means a warmer day and a warmer air mass favors a higher risk of strong to severe thunderstorms. If we have more in the way of cloud cover, it means a cooler atmosphere and the storms tend to be weaker. We think enough warmth, especially away from the ocean tomorrow, to generate some strong inland thunderstorms. I'm going to show you that in more detail in just a second. Temps now in the upper 60s to low 70s. Beautiful summer night westerly coming in at 68 degrees uh, low, low to mid 70s Oakland Beach in Warwick right now checking in at 75 most spots now upper 60s to lower 70s no weather problems for this evening it's nice and quiet all across New England you see some showers and storms to our north we're going to widen out the view and there's energy within the atmosphere across the Ohio River Valley look at the outbreak of severe weather right in here and that energy will work into our area late tomorrow afternoon and early tomorrow evening let me show you how it will play out hour by hour starting off this evening we're generally quiet and mild even through tomorrow morning at 7 a.m mid 70s any coastal clouds will burn off becoming partly sunny and warm here's where it gets interesting uh three o'clock in the afternoon you see the line of strong storms in the connecticut river valley i'm gonna take you through it now hour by hour three o'clock here we are four o'clock entering the northwest corner of the state these are some pretty strong storms uh, 5 o'clock, they're moving into southeastern Mass, and then by 6, 7 o'clock in the evening, they're moving offshore. So the window of opportunity is between roughly 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon till about 7 o'clock in the evening, and then after that will clear out. So no big problems in the morning. Early afternoon looks okay, but any time after, say, 4 o'clock, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, keep an eye to the northwest sky through at least 7 o'clock in the evening. Beaches, you won't catch a thunderstorm until very late in the day. Boaters, please be mindful of how things could get real dicey on the coastal waters in the bay by late afternoon and early evening. Take the weather radio with you. Beautiful Wednesday and Thursday. Uh, cooler with scattered showers on Friday. Weekend looks cool and unsettled. Extra clouds on Saturday. The chance for scattered showers on Sunday with uh, temperatures only upper 60s to low 70s. Uh, the chance is small, and I do stress a small chance, but not out of the question for an isolated tornado or two in parts of central Massachusetts. And that's something that we're going to watch around here very, very closely. Yeah, especially when you have that band of strong storms, you have a lot of people spending time outside. You want to make sure everybody's aware that that's a possibility and that those are coming through. Yeah, especially folks that are on the bay and the boats. Yeah. All right, Tony, yep. thanks. Coming